The reason why I want to have custom is because this is what I this is what I don't want to have. I don't want to have two of our players next to each other like this. I'm big on uniform. The pros are bigger. You you'll get fined for like uniform not being key. You'll get fined. And I, I want us. That's where our guys want to go. I want to prep them for it. So we got to be able to practice what we preach and make sure they all have the same color helmets. Even if we got to donate our own money to get that done, we want to make sure they all have the same color uniforms to the T. Look great, feel great, you play great, they'll pay great, right? So. Some of them that had the chief, the rest of me to take them off because they are they like we had like the chief symbol on the back. Like I had my number on. We had our numbers on the back of our helmets. Jackson State, that's who I was watching, yeah. Uh, that's who I was just watching this morning. That chrome, and did you see what they put on the side of the helmets too? They had like kind of their own logo um, that believe. They actually put that believe. I like, I love that. I did that, for sure. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. I like that, that that big, they just kind of like, they bust the gates open. They didn't end up winning it all, but the way they came in. You see what I'm saying? That's definitely the way, that's definitely the way we come in. So, like everybody gonna like, you know that we Chamberlain, like we are Chamberlain, the storm coming. The storm gonna be here soon, you know what I'm saying? And no matter what, nobody gonna be able to stop with what we doing have enough guys that believe in what we're doing. We got the best mentors in the temple. Oh, we're good. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll go out and pretty much, I'll come out. I'll, I'll voice that. I, I won't be scared to go out and kind of say that, man. I'll put big emphasis on who we bring in here, uh, not just players, but mentors. And I'm not gonna lie, we getting chrome helmets, dog. <laughs> hey, they they gonna gonna be tough. Hey, I'm not gonna, gonna lie. Tough. Yes, I'm sir. Know, I'm already knowing everybody that come in, they bringing their own stuff. I came in with my own stuff. What helmet? Yeah, that's I, how everybody do it. Everybody do it like that. All the all the good people on the team that really came through, we all came through with speed plus. See, I didn't know that you had to take your. So if you had to give your the school your stuff, I didn't know that. I paid money for mine, his license. So. Oh, so you got it, but you got to give it to him after. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Oh nah. yeah, y'all keep buying them then. <laughs> so, I ain't know. I ain't yeah, know that. Yeah. No, I did mine custom. Mine wasn't the same color. You spray painted it. Oh, it's it's how the color. Who, 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 who. I did it. Rock! I did it. Oh my! I did it all person personally. Oh my! My helmet looked. No, big. I already know. I did. I did that with my little league. I spray painted my little league. My um, look. My look is so good. White was white was hard. Looked. Looked. I'm gonna be correcting y'all too. My mom do it to me all the time. No, my mom. <laughs> That's why I said hit, I gotta all get all the hits you've been given. That's all you. All the hits you've been given, not taken. Okay. I'm wondering because that um that chrome doesn't hold good either though. You always see those get chipped off. This is good. This is good. These two, you know, like the scuff marks right here. We not having that, bro. Like I don't know who hit this helmet right here. This a this a, a cut. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know <laughs> who. Gas. I don't know who. That's hit. what I want to see. I don't know who hit the helmet right here. That's what I want to see, but we not we just, just I hate this dog. I just yeah the I, difference. I hate <laughs> that, bro. That's a. We not like we, was right, we, we was can tell everybody. Look, y'all can keep. Y'all can have. Don't bring these back, bro. Y'all can have <laughs> these older. That's this. The, this the Ray Lewis helmet right here. We we everybody know this is right here. Did anybody Ray. wear that old classic type helmet? Yes, last somebody year? did. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This right here, Ray Lewis hit so many people in it. That's why we premiering this. You know what I'm saying? People need to see what it's gonna take. Like I said, we already know what's gonna happen. I already know what's gonna happen. I already manifested. You know what I'm saying? Before I even took this job, so. People need to know before it even starts what it takes. That's our motto. With it. I'm ready to get back with into it. I already know. Everybody's hitting me I'm up. Ready That's to get what back I'm saying. Students are hitting me up that don't even play. Like, oh man, I want to play. I want to play. So it's, I've been, I, it's happening. Every, every night I'd be like, hey, I can't wait for 707 to come back. Mm -hmm. We was, we we was beating teams in seven on seven. We right. beat them in the regular season. Right. But they couldn't right. touch us in seven on seven. Right. Well, that's how we we gonna take it all the way. Like I said all aspects 707 tackle football but if that's what we can control now 707 that's what we can control if we can control those grades right now between now and april exams are now so we getting in from day one that's what i want to have the most i don't give a dang if we win one seven i, I give a dang you know i'm competitive but i'd rather see us have that big if our gpa average is 2.0 between by the time April comes around, I want to see that, uh, yeah, I want to see however the highest you could pull that 2.0 to 2.5, whatever that could be, that's what I want it to be. That's going to be our flex, you know what I'm saying? Because right now, I mean, the reality is the reality. It's, it's, 
no matter how good we're doing right now, we're still in a D school as a whole. So that's what parents are looking at right now when the kids are coming over. Like that's their baby or it's hard to get kids to come over to a D school, right? They think it's all bad. They think it's all bad, but if they look at our program, which we're gonna we're gonna impact the whole school, but we gotta start with ours, right? So impacting our football team right now, seeing what that GPA jump up, we can show the parents that and the parents can see, all right, that's the change within. And then we'll start to impact the other sports and then we'll use our sports to impact all the kids in the school. And then of course that impacts the city, the state, and then you don't think that, you don't let that be your ceiling, you impact the nation. That's how we did. When I was at Plant High School, that's how Coach Wiener broke it down to me. He's like, man, if you're not ready to impact the nation, not just Plant High School, you in the wrong place because we are going to be like nationally ranked. We're going to be doing things in the nation that, that Tampa schools aren't used to seeing. The kid that lived all the way over there, but you got, you know, you got Swank coming from Loops. He's picking up people. Right. But everybody had Coach Jamie. He was packing up his SUV trying to get people. Right. And everybody had like a weight, but at the same time, not everybody had a weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know we had the, um, so Young Life, one of my great friends, uh, Danielle Jones, Young Life, she comes over here and she works with Jamie. And she works with one of the churches in um, Suffolk Springs. She's donating us a 12 seater van. So every morning, me and my wife, and maybe even my wife, um, we're going to be picking up, you know what I'm saying, at least up to 10 kids. We got the 12 seater, but we'll take the two front seats. Obviously, I don't do this much. Um, yeah, I got a little bootleg flyer for you. This is what you have to do when you're a high school coach. You gotta roam the hallways because you have student athletes that's in the school um, that may not play football, you know? So they may have never been asked. And they just want to be asked or they may be shy to come to the locker room to ask. So during this orientation, what we're doing is I'm just gonna roam the hallways. It's a little awkward this week because it's exam week, but whatever it takes, I'm with it. It's where I'm coming. Okay, I'll be close to that. Hey, Glenn. At the um, FSU Stadium. That's a, that's a certificate. He signed that with a feather. He, he signed that with a feather. You can't tell me he didn't sign that with a feather. How do um, you feel about it? It already feel different. I ain't even, I ain't even touch the field. I already feel different. Because, like I told him, I had some other high schools that reached out to me, but I'm gonna stay home. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna leave them, I'm gonna stay home. So, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm down in the office. We're printing out um, flyers to give for the orientation, the football orientation today. And she comes to the office and she tells me today that um, we have cleats donated. Yep. It's, we have uh, 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 an anonymous donation for a uh, brand new pair of cleats and a used pair of cleats. There we go. And this is the beginning. This is just the beginning. I think we're going to have a lot of resources doing things like this for our uh, student athletes. So we're going to go check it out. We're going to go pick them up and see what these things look like. Ooh. Well, shoot. Let's see. Um, <laughs> we just go got, some, and look at them. got some cleats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is good I haven't been in I wasn't. I wasn't a part of that team because I wasn't here yet. This was the... This was the uh, varsity team? Uh, we don't have no JV. Hmm, all right. Okay, we gonna get some, um, yeah. We gonna get, the boys gonna get beefier. And the boys who aren't beefier, uh, guess what? You play ball? Yes, sir. What? I, I know I might have asked you this a couple times. Have I? No. No, what class are you? 26. 26, is that junior or sophomore? That's in. 26, no, 26, we'll have to be. Sophomore. Sophomore. Oh, yeah, I'm a sophomore. sophomore. Yeah, okay. You coming to the 245? You coming to the meeting today? Okay, see you later. That's nice. And out here, do they still have the, uh, man, you good with the lunch ladies? Yes. You better be good with the lunch ladies, boy. That was good. Rippy now. Oh, you already know we're going to have some coaching attire. Yes, sir. Let's see what we got. Boom. So, yeah, look, we just got these donated right here. Um, I was in the office, and that was so rude of me. I didn't even, what was her name? I didn't get her. I didn't get her name. Um, but uh, she randomly came up. Hey, 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 Mr. Head Coach, we got some. Uh, we got some cleats donated for you. We got a new pair and a used pair. And um, yeah, they want to be kept secret. The people who donated them. So uh, we'll respect that. And of course, 
storm is coming, the support is here. This gets me excited because this is just the beginning. Like literally this is still, I think uh, day eight of me being head coach. We have a whole bunch of kids coming in literally every single day. Um, we meet the kids today. We meet our student athletes today. Gonna um, see what type of kids we have in the school of size. You know, I, I stayed in PE yesterday all week. I've been checking out the PE. And you know, we got some guys who can move. We got some big guys who can dunk. They just don't play football. So we're going to make Chamberlain great again. We're going to make Chamberlain football team cool again. And um, with the help of, helps of some of our uh, young athletes here, we're going we're gonna to bring this thing back to what it used to be. Chamberlain is 53% Hispanic. And we have a whole bunch of, like, his, like himself, we have a whole bunch of student athletes here that's Spanish, and um, they don't have access to play football because we didn't have any Spanish coaches. So what I'm looking to do, I'm looking to have one translator um, on offense, one translator on defense, and um, that way we can get these Hispanic kids out to be able to play football. There's some balling Hispanic kids here, and definitely some big Hispanic kids here. Uh, this method worked with me in the CFL. Uh, when I played for the Edmonton Elks, we had the Global League. We had to get two um, out of the country, out of North America athletes. And when we brought them in, we had translators for them, and um, it worked just well. They, they balled out and helped our team tremendously. So I want to bring that here to the high school level and get the Hispanic kids out. It's 53% Hispanic. We cannot cut our athletes out in half just because we don't have Spanish or um, translators on our staff. So this is a this they little L train. This they little L spot right here. I heard like big boy right there. Look at big boy right there. Crazy. <laughs> Tell him, tell him, try it out like he tried out basketball. Tell him to try football out like he tried basketball. Out. It's, it's ah. Que van a estar un, un meeting allá donde ah, okay. por la pesa oh. para hablar. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna work. Sí. I'm gonna tell the coach. Uh, yeah, you gonna pull up? Yeah, I'm gonna tell the coach. Can, can he make it or? He dice que sí, tú puedes ir. Voy, voy a ver porque ahora estoy enfermo con dolor en los riñones y ahora tengo que ir a la casa. Yeah, he said he might go. Okay, all right. Oh, wait room 245. I'll tell him, wait room 245, I have a translator in there. I told him. Okay, all right. Yeah. Hey, don't, don't be coming in late. Don't be coming in late. Uh, I'm going to tell the coach you. Basketball coach? Yeah, yeah. Tell him. Uh, okay. Yeah, let him know. Call your guys. We got uh, 15 minutes. Call your guys. Call your guys and tell them to get in here. The ones that's interested. Because that, that intercom shout out wasn't in You were talking about the newcomer. You two are the only two people. You are the only three on the basketball team that's trying to play? Every position is covered by a professional player, right? So we're going to have professionals teaching linebackers, professionals teaching DBs, professionals like myself teaching running back, along with O-line, right? And I think the reason for that is big, is big for us is because I believe that experience is the best teacher. Who we got? Don't be scared to come in. If you're late, tell them don't be scared to come in. No? All right. So. Talking to a lot of people inside of the school, man, a lot of people didn't want to play for the football team because they said there's a lot going on. I agree. It is a lot. Man, for me cleaning up the, the spot, I could tell that this was a losing program organization from how I had to clean up the locker room, honestly. It's not a slap in the face to nobody. I'm just telling you from the standards and the places I've been. Um, when I was in high school, I was at Plant High School. After I transferred from Chamberlain, we won a national championship at the high school level. I then went to Florida State University. We won a national championship at the college level. I then went to the pros and the CFL, Grey Cup, Toronto Argonauts. After my um, NFL career, we won the Grey Cup, right? So I've been a part of teams that won at every level. In Little League, I've never not. I won a Super Bowl every year in Little League, my whole life. So I know a thing or two about winning from Little League all the way up. But also, I've been a part of teams that, that's won two games a season. The year after we won that Grey Cup, we went from first to worst. And I, and I know 
why those teams lose. I was a part of it, right? So the biggest thing that we need to do here is we're gonna fix our grades. I'm bringing the resources to be able to fix our grades. So train up first, tough. It's, 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 a, it's a program to be able to teach us time management. It's a program, it's a tutoring program. We'll have the tutors here, all right? Now, everybody who has a GPA of 1.3 and up, <laughs> I am told we could work on that and have that and, and have that ready by fall. So I'm gonna keep it real with you. This is this, this, this ain't paid. This ain't paid. I get $3,500 and I'm about to be in here from five in the morning every day till when y'all be dropping y'all off. I'm snapping my life on this, bro. It's not just a Hillsborough County. Like I'm snapping my life on this, right? So I want I want y'all to have that same thing. I want y'all to have that same dedication. I know y'all gonna have that same dedication. And I promise you guys, I'm bringing the resources. You get to learn from the NFL receiver coach every day. Y'all go on our Instagram page right now. In the last nine days, we've had 80K odds on the Chamber page. I just created the Chamber page. There's already been 90,000 people looking at that page already. Now, I will follow us. I will give us all a platform to use. I will all give us a platform for colleges to see. I'm going to uplift all of us. So we're going to all uplift each other. But. The ones that's flicking off, the ones that don't. If, if, if we're gonna have, I, I, I run Wilder Sports Academy, my business, kids. I work with kids, right? I'm gonna be focusing, I'm, I'm gonna be putting you guys in a position to be mentors, to be leaders for my kids to look up to. They're gonna be around all the time. My team is called Wilder Sports Academy Goats. Greatest of all Tampa. We were number two in Florida last year, or this year, this spring. We lost to Devin Hester's team in West Orlando, all right? I'm changing my whole organization, my whole team to Wilder Sports Academy Storm. I'm changing our colors from the Kobach Buccaneers colors to the green and gold. This isn't going to be a regular football team, period. All right? If you look around, you're not going to be able to see what we have. We have the new weight room, the new field, the new coaches, the new everything. Now it's all on, it's, it's, it's right here. Y'all got everything. There's no more excuses. It's me. That's the first group. Y'all gotta get some juice shoes. We ain't gonna allow these tomorrow. Tomorrow I want some shoes and cleats.